So we're going to take a quick look at the timings sheet for race one in the Mini Challenge 2018 series Cooper S Class. That's the series that I'm racing in. This is number 30. So we'll get straight on it. So TSL Timings is the website, tsltimings.com, and they will record all of the timings from the weekend. So qualifying started at 9 a.m. on the Saturday morning. The conditions were dry. I had to go out on unscrubbed slicks. I'd never driven the car with slicks on before, and I was a little bit nervous. And that transpired quite early on as I was coming out the old hairpin up through the swatched curves I on the outlap I goofed it I pirouetted according to my teammates and fellow drivers I was pirouetting like a ballerina uh, and that's rather embarrassing um, I have to say uh, I thought I was Nigel Mansell doing some Formula One weaves um and I've, I've never done it before and I, and, I, and I stacked it so there's a lesson to all you uh rookies out there that want to get into uh racing um not knowing what you're doing can get you into trouble so um be careful listen to people find out what you should be doing and practice it Needless to say, I won't be doing that again. But there is some footage on YouTube if you want to see it. The only, only the rear camera was working, so uh, but you'll you'll catch the drift, as it were, or the pirouette. Anyway, after a shaky start, we I managed to get out and qualify fourth. Now it was a tricky grid. Uh, it was tricky qualifying because there are 36 of us out. Now this isn't normal, um, but we had to share the qualifying with our Cooper Am and Pro uh, fellow drivers, um, but that won't be that won't be happening uh, for the rest of the season. Um, Thirty six cars within fifteen minutes is uh, as a challenge, really. Uh, I suppose it is a mini challenge, but uh, it's difficult to to get clear air and and to get some laps. However, we we all did, and um, Jono got the fastest time. Uh, Stuart was really close behind. I mean, that, there's nothing in it there, and Tim. Uh, a second behind and then uh, and then I'm uh, pretty much a second behind um, Tim so fantastic qualifying from Tim there to, to get into uh, third position unfortunately Tim had to have an eight position penalty and that promoted me to third so it um, wasn't a great start for Tim in that respect and actually went on to get worse um, Tim's uh, supercharged belt bust and that was him he had to retire now Going on to, uh, okay, so here again, this is sort of information that you can expect from the timing sheet. Uh, you can look at, out at all the different drivers and how well they did. So if you are for a family or a friend of any of these drivers and you would like to see how they did, or you hear me in commentary talking about these guys. So Sammy, I had a battle with her. You'll hear me talking about that. Tim is my teammate here. So, and Stuart, um, I talk about those guys. Obviously, Jono. He was leading race one uh, and then had an epic car failure towards the end of the race. So you'll hear me talk about him. He set some really fast laps and was doing some good consistent driving. But unfortunately, it wasn't his day. Uh, there's me, car number 30. And you, obviously, this, is, this channel is all about following me in this rookie season, my maiden season, to see how well I'm doing. I've never raced before. That's the whole kind of point of capturing this, just to see how well I'm doing. Um, so, uh, and I'll scroll through. I'm not going to stay too. There's Chloe as well. Um, I had a, a nice battle with Chloe. Um, Rob, again, season pro. He came runner up in the 2017 um, series. So he's a really good, really good driver, really consistent, really fast driver. So I, that's somebody I'm going to be looking up to and, and, and taking note from um, to learn things from. Uh, particularly Rob starts and I'll talk about that in a bit but uh, yeah so I'm going to scroll through these you can pause this at any time if you've got friends and family that you want to just have a look at their lap time see how they're doing so this is the whole point of this um, so again Kevin I'm going to just slow there you can pause it I'm going to scroll down uh, Kevin did a brilliant second race Andy Godfrey he's my teammate he's in the Cooper 
um, class and uh, there you go. Stuart as well. He was in my he's my teammate. He was um, he was in my garage. And here we go. Just scrolling down. Okay, guys. Right. Here's the grid. So again, you can get an idea of the type of display uh, that you get from the timing tsltimings.com. Uh, I'm not promoting them, by the way. They they are just the people that do this um, for the for the series, and it's really useful. And it's real time as it happens. So any friends and family out there, tsltimings.com. When you know the racing, it's uh, uh, some of these won't be broadcast live on TV or or, or even uh, repeat re recorded. Um, so you can get to know real time stuff as and when it happens. Okay, so this is how we finished. Uh, and you can see I am first. And uh, yeah, that's the biggest shock to me as it is probably to you guys. This guy's got in a car, he's never driven it before uh, in a race, he's never raced before, and he gets on slicks uh, that he's never driven on slicks before, and he wins. So that's. Um, yeah, I'm still getting over that. I kind of don't know what happened. I just sort of, sort of had an out-of-body experience and just, I, I'll be honest with you, that may be true that I've never raced before, but I have been working very, very hard with my team. Uh, my teammates have helped me immensely. Stuart Lane has been fantastic. I've had a, so I've had a, a test day at Snetterton. I've had a test day at Donington. Um, and then obviously at the race weekend, you have practice on Friday, Friday practice. You get your head down and you focus and you concentrate. And if you've got, you know, good capabilities in a car anyway, which I know I have 25 years or 23 years of driving, then you can try to put that all together and uh, and and come, you know, and and it, and it did. I had some good luck um, by Jono, but I think I would have had second anyway. But uh, but there you have it. And just just to sort of confirm my pace, I got the fastest lap, which I'm, I'm just thrilled about, absolutely thrilled about. Um, Stu came second. Well, the three of us had a, an epic battle uh, to try and catch down Jono. Um, I think Jono, he, he was able to pull away because we were having such a battle. Um, and uh, so thanks, guys, for, for just an awesome introduction into racing. Uh, I, I just, uh, memory is just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. <clears throat> Chloe um, came a, a fantastic fourth, um, and uh, and then these guys. Sammy, Sammy's a rookie. She's never done this before, and uh, she she had a um, fantastic second race as well. So well done to you guys. John Owen, lucky mate. You, you, your car just exploded, and we, you were unable to compete in the second race. Never mind. Uh, better luck next time. Tim, I. I my good mate and t uh, my teammate and uh, all round top bloke they had a terrible bad luck in qualifying and he was unfortunately had eight place penalty and then his supercharged didn't didn't work his belt snapped unfortunately these things happen and he had a dnf so uh, again just to introduce you to you can see friends family if you want to look at your driver you can see by pressing the pause button uh, the timings and how well they've done for each lap you can see my cluster there as i was hunting down Jono. so i'm really really pleased with my performance there I, that that proves something to me to take into the next round this is i'm, I'm slowly building up some experience yes, this is only two races but it every little helps every little bit of information helps so i'm going to scroll down well done Stu. some great laps there sammy well done um rob Wow, he so he was on he was eighth starting this race from eighth, right? And you'll see this in the in-car footage on the, the commentary that I've done, the full race coverage commentary that I'm going to do for every race. So that should be on the channel now, today, or within 24 hours or something like that. It's probably still uploading actually, it takes forever. And Rob, you can actually see he goes from eighth to third within the first lap, and it's just insane. I thought I got a good getaway. Uh, Rob just blew that away. It's unbelievable. And uh, at one point, he was up to second coming out of um, the old hairpin on the first lap. So that's just amazing. So I've got a lot to learn from Rob on that. Not that he'll tell me, but I'm just going to watch him. So there you go, Rob. And um, 
yeah so uh, in fact actually i forgot to mention this first lap was a nightmare i came off coming out of mclean's and i dropped down to seventh and that was why that was just terrible but i soon composed myself and put in some pretty consistent laps lap 10 was when Jono blew his engine and spurted oil across just the entrance to uh, Craners, which is a really fast left hand. I said we had to, we all had to break down there, um, and uh, those what that's why you'll see everybody's lap ten is quite slower compared to all, all those Stu is just fairly consistent there, but uh, certainly uh, they're a lot slower towards the end there. Um, unlucky Jono, I think I've already said that, and unlucky Tim, sorry mate. Uh, but you did uh, a hell of a job in race two. Again, you can see the lap times, uh, what the positions are, and how far each car is behind the leader on, on every lap. So that's really good information for you guys out there wanting to follow the drivers. And as I scroll down, some more laps, and then we're going to get to um, race two. So I'm just going to really sort of go through this quite quickly um yeah i pulled the card so it's reverse grid i pulled sixth so that means that Stu is fifth we finished second in the previous race and rob is fourth again i had a terrible start i've got to practice it i've got to sort that out but i ended up eighth or ninth and just had to battle my way back and and if it wasn't for some somebody else's misfortune and my good fortune i um i wouldn't have got on the podium but as you can see i got third and i'm just ecstatic it's just brilliant and that what that meant was i now i think with my fastest lap i head rob into um snetterton leading the championship which is just bonkers um Stu had to uh Stu was uh very strong again but unfortunately uh i can't remember Stu what the problem was but he had to finish he had to um he had to uh retire Again, I'm just going to, you can pause this, you can see everybody's lap times here, so pause if you like. Pause. Oh, I had an epic battle with, with Sammy, well done Sammy, and Tim, wow, you pushed me hard, uh, but, but fair. Okay, All right, that's about it, so, uh, well, you can, uh, there's the individual laps, there's the individual laps, you can pause that. Lap 11, and that's it. And it was cloudy and it was dry, but actually, it wasn't. It was really sunny. We had about 15 degrees out there, and we got super lucky. So, uh, thanks to everyone. See you next time.